Has it ever crossed the mind if the stories and prophecies in the book of Revelation are more than just ancient text? Today we delve into this intriguing question, exploring the contrasting beliefs surrounding this last book of the New Testament. On one side of the divide, individuals, primarily those of deep Christian faith, hold the belief that the book of Revelation serves as a prophetic blueprint of the end times. They maintain that John the Apostle, under divine inspiration, wrote about future events, many of which are yet to unfold. The vivid descriptions of the apocalypse, the rise of the Antichrist, and the final judgment aren't seen as mere allegory but are perceived as literal future occurrences. For these believers, the prophecies in Revelation provide comfort and hope. They see them as signs of a new world to come, a heavenly kingdom where pain, death, and sorrow will be no more. They interpret the symbols and imagery, not as mere poetic devices, but as coded messages to be deciphered, revealing God's divine plan for humanity. On the flip side of the coin, there are those who view the book of Revelation as a product of its time, not a prophetic text. Skeptics, historians, and even some theologians argue that the book was written in a specific historical context, primarily to address the challenges faced by early Christians under Roman rule. They suggest that the apocalyptic imagery and dramatic events were metaphors, meant to inspire hope in a persecuted community, not to predict future global events. To them, the symbols and metaphors are tied to first century events and should not be read as a detailed forecast of the future. In essence, the book of Revelation ignites a fascinating debate. It's a tug of war between viewing the text as a divine prophecy of things to come and interpreting it as symbolic literature rooted in its historical context. To summarize, believers see the book of Revelation as a roadmap to the future, a guide to the end times filled with prophetic visions that are yet to come to pass. On the other hand, skeptics view it as a historical document filled with metaphorical language aimed to inspire hope among early Christians facing persecution. This discourse, far from being purely academic, touches on deep-seated beliefs and worldviews. It invites us to question, to explore, and to engage with one of the most mysterious and debated books in human history. Whether one views the book of Revelation as true prophecy or symbolic literature, its intriguing nature continues to captivate minds and stir conversations. As we close, it's worth pondering, what do you believe?